tuned into my channel and yes I am aware that I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore in my last video but I swore it's a different day <laughs> just I didn't plan on doing a video today but here I am and as you can see by the title of this video this is makeup products that I have been loving well beauty pro well I guess it is all makeup it's all makeup um as you saw in my last video I had my go-to makeup so I'm gonna have some products from there and I got some products that are put away but stuff I've just been really really loving and so I want to get into it because this video may get kind of long I also have a small small haul but I'm gonna do that last so you can know why I bought more of the product once you see why I love it so anyway let's get started um the Maybelline Dream Velvet um and 90 Honey Beige can we focus here this stuff is absolutely amazing um I'm wearing it now it dries quickly it matches my skin focus matches my skin perfectly I let me see if I can there we go matches my skin perfectly love 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 this <laughs> um um next up is the Sonia Kashuk perfecting luminous foundation I have buff in 04 it looks like this come on um really like this it's a little little light for me but I can make it work so yeah mega products I've been loving what else um I picked this up a few weeks ago well not a few weeks ago maybe a couple of weeks ago it is the Maybelline um Define Brow let's go let's focus not gonna focus there we go it is the Define Brow it is in um goes like this it's a retractable pencil I like this it's what I'm wearing today it's when I want to do those looks where I just want to do a very natural brow and whatnot so I really really do love this um Maybelline Master Conceal. I've had this forever. I've had this forever and I just really like it. I use it under the eyes to do some highlighting. Put it, you know, oh, it's getting dark in here. Let's go back up. There we go. Um, I just really like it. It conceals very well. It doesn't crease. It doesn't clump. It doesn't do anything. It's just a really, really good concealer. Um, what else? No, that's not it. Um, this e.l.f. contour palette, I absolutely love. I, I can't say anything bad about it. Um, it has a huge mirror in here. And there it is right there. You have your highlight. I use this for setting um, my concealer. And then I use it for bronzing, this for contouring. This is a great product. I think it's six bucks. It's awesome. And you can pop these out just like the blush palettes. And you could easily, you know, put a blush in here, put a highlight, put a contour, put two blushes or whatever, and have you an entire face palette. So there you go. Love that. Um, what else? I just did a haul, you know, not too long ago. And I talked about the Tartelette palette. I knew I would love it from when I saw it over a year ago. But I didn't know how much I would love it until I actually used it. Y'all, I don't know how, what took me so long to actually get it, but I got it and I'm so glad. It's it's sitting here, my go-to makeup. It is just, I use this. I'm not wearing it today. I'm not wearing any eye makeup. But I wear this every single time I put on makeup. I haven't gone to any other palette. I just absolutely love it. I have been using the purples, you know. I wasn't even sure that I would use the purples, but... You know, you get these three, these four purple colors right here. But what I want to just do like a really simple look, I usually use this top row. If I just want to do a no makeup look, you know, that's a pink right there. This is an amazing palette. I love it. I just, the formula is everything. It stays. It doesn't crease. The color payoff. I mean, it's all matte, which I love. But I just, I'm so glad that I got it. I do, I figured out that I do want the... Tartelette in Bloom palette. Maybe we'll get that. I don't know. Um, next up is the Tartus blush palette. These are the Amazonian clay blushes, and like the like the eyeshadows, the blushes are everything. I love them. Um, I have been using this. 
every single time I put on makeup. It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I just can't. <sighs> I love them all. You know, when I want a really bright look, I use Live, which is a pretty coral color. Um, and when I want like a very muted look, I use Love, which is like this mauve. Dream is like your perfect pink color for your cheeks. And this one, Laugh, has a little bit of sparkle in it, but not too much. But y'all, please get this if you don't have it. It's just absolutely amazing. And um, I want to talk about one more face product, and it is the NYX... Um, highlight and contour pro palette um, it's not sitting in my go-to makeup because it's huge <laughs> but it is something that I reach for like if I want to switch it up between the elf one and this you know I, I just go back and forth but this is a really nice palette I really do love it um, you know people were saying it was a you know it's a cheaper alternative to the Anastasia contour kit um, I was thinking about getting that but I may, it's not something that's on my list of things to get right now, but I may get it, I don't know. But I will say, I absolutely love this. I don't need to use every single shade in here, and I think that's the beauty of it all, because anybody that's any shade can use this palette. So I think that's the great thing. This is great, like if you're a makeup artist and you wanna put this, no. If you're an established makeup artist, you probably have the Anastasia one, but if you're just starting out or you just want to play in makeup and it's your first time, this is great to buy. But um, I like using this like right, you know, right on top of the cheeks for blush because it gives you a nice sparkle. But this is, you know, the yellow, you know, the set everything. But I, this is a great palette. I don't know what took me so long. Well, I know it took so long. Ulta was sold out all the time, but this is a really, really great product. So I'm gonna get onto lips because I have a lot of lip products. Lip lip colors are my favorite makeup product. Like I don't have to wear any eyeshadow. I don't even have to wear any blush. You know, some contouring, eyeliner, mascara, brows done, and a huge pop of color. Um, so let's get into that. Oh no, no. First, let's talk about these nail polishes. Um, I'm not a person who paints my nails a lot. My toenails stay paint because. Um, they just never come off. I'm a person, I'm, I'm a bad, I'm a nail biter, so nail polish doesn't last long. But these nail polishes I got at Walmart, they're at the register, and I think they're like three bucks a piece. And it's the brand Pure Ice, and this color is Happy Hour. Looks like this. Come on. Not gonna focus? No, no, no. Anyway, um, it looks like it's a coral color and it's really, really pretty. It's on my toes. I'm not going to show you my toes, but it looks like that. And then this pink one, which I've had for a while, is called Flirt Alert. And it looks like this. I wish it would just focus. There we go. And there's the coral one. And then this aqua color is called Home Run, which is... These are like my favorite colors right now. Like in everything, like my office accessories are this right here. So yeah, that is nail polishes. Now let's get into lip products because I have discovered some new to me lip products. Let's focus. Let's get it. All right. Come on. There we go. My camera takes forever to focus. Um, first, I want to talk about these Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colors. These are not that old, but I mean, they're a little, they're new for me. But I have three of them and I want them all because they're just amazing. I love the formula of them. These colors right here. Um, this really dark one I have is called Passion. Looks like this. I love the frosted glass type. I mean, I'm not, I have a lot of lip products. I'm not going to swatch them all because I'll be here all day, but... This color is a deep berry color. It is a, it's just, it's gorgeous. This one is, that's actually in my go-to makeup, if you saw that video, is Devotion. It's a nice, pretty pink color. Um, it's not very bright. It's like a muted pink, love that. And then this one, which is, oh my God, I love it because I love a good nude lip. This is Seduction, which I think is, 
an odd name for a nude lip. I thought seduction would be like more like a red or something. But it looks like this. And it is nude. And I absolutely love it. Oh my god. So yes, I have three of these. I'm on a mission to get them all. I will succeed. I can guarantee you. Um, let's start with some Maybelline Matte lipsticks. Well, let's start. Let's continue. I have this one, Lust for Blush, which um, I actually have had for a while. But it looks like this. It's this pretty purple color. Really, really love that. There we go. Um, and what else? I'm going to put these back. Um, oh, this is the one I wanted to show because Lust for Blush I've had. Darling Nude. Oh, no. I have that one. I don't know if I talk about that. <laughs> anyway. This one is the one I'm actually wearing. It's called All Fired Up, number 687. Beautiful, beautiful pink color. It's gorgeous. Oh my God. It is just this really pop of color. As you can see, I'm wearing nothing really on my face. And this just really, really pops. And so, and then we have Blushing Pout, which is just gorgeous. It looks really pretty. Kind of looks similar to lust for blush but it's a little they're a little different let's see they're ba they're almost the same color which i didn't really realize you know this is blushing pout and this is lust for blush and as you can see we focus there this one's a little bit darker than that one but they're in the same color family um so yeah let me put those back. And the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid lipsticks are absolutely everything. Oh, actually, I still have some more matte, uh, Maybelline Matte lipsticks. This one is called Electric Pink. And it got dirty because I forgot to put it down all the way. <laughs> But this is a, a beautiful neon matte pink, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Love that. I've worn all of these. Worn all of them already. Um, but some are just not my go-to colors. They're just something when I want to pop. So this one is called Pink and Chic. Actually, I have not worn this one yet. But it's just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and then... What else? This one is called Scar Sire. No, I already have that one. This one is called Rich Ruby. I haven't worn this one yet, but if it's a it's a deep, deep red, gorgeous. Oh my god! I actually I do want to swatch that because I want to show you. Oh my god! I know what I'm wearing for my date night come next week. It looks like this. Is my camera gonna focus? It is gorgeous. It's a deep, deep red. It looks like it has a blue undertone and whatnot. And so are those, I think that may be it for the matte, the Maybelline matte. Okay. So anyway, I do want to talk about the L'Oreal, because I want to do the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquids last. I have a lot of those. The L'Oreal, when I got the Maybelline um, Vivid Matte Liquids, a friend of mine, Candice, was saying, oh, the L'Oreal Infallibles are good too. I'm like, hmm. So I got those and I think I may like the formula of the L'Oreal ones better than the Maybelline. I love them all, but I like the formula a little better. So these are the four that I got at one time, okay? Um, this one is called Bare Attraction. Nice nude color. Like, why? I wish my camera would just like focus. This is a really, really pretty nude. I've worn all four of these. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we have this one, which is called Blushing Ambition. Pretty pink color. Looks like this. I, I, like, I want this to hurry up and focus. You know what I'm gonna do? There we go. Oops. There we go. Looks like that. 
And then I have, this one is called Rouge Envy, which is really, really gorgeous. And then L'Oreal, oh, this one is called Aphrodite Kiss. This is a hot, hot pink, which I actually need to take out of my go-to makeup because this is not a color that I just go to. So I'm gonna remove this in a little bit. All right. And so those are those four right there. And then I have Maybelline Vivid Liquid Mattes and these are in my go-to because they're nude. But this one is um, in the color Nude Flash, no, Nude Flush looks like this this is this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and then this one is nude thrill as you can see this one's a more pinky nude and this one is a more of a nude nude so there we go right there and then and then we have so many more so many more um i just oh my god i love these this one is fuchsia ecstasy Look how, look at this. Like, this one almost looks, oops, similar to that. Yeah. A, a couple of these Maybelline Vivid look like the L'Oreal Infallibles. So, if you can't find one, you may be able to find the other. But yes, this is absolutely gorgeous. And I got two of these by accident, but this one is called Orange Shot Bright Deep. It's like an orange red. You know, it's not a true orange or a true red. It's like in between gorgeous so I have two of those this one is called berry boost beautiful absolutely beautiful this one which is gorgeous I have I haven't even worn this one yet but I'm showing you I've shown it in the haul this one is called Vi vivid violet this one, which I absolutely love 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 it's called possess plum I've worn this it's a deep 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 purple this is absolutely absolutely gorgeous so gorgeous okay so I do want to get into my haul a little bit I have a little miniature haul and I have more of the L'Oreal Infallibles and this is Shanghai Scarlet it is a very very bright red love that and then I have this nude one which is called Statement Nude and this is bare attraction as you can see this one's a little bit lighter than this one and then we have this pink one right here which is called fuchsia amnesia look at that bright pink very bright and then the last one is rebel rose looks like that and something else I picked up today is this Maybelline Dream Blender. It, it goes with the foundation. Um, it's a little small little blender. Eagle Tools makes a tool like this, but one side is flat. But I was I want to try this the next time I put on makeup and um, see how it works and everything and see how it cleans. But I thought that was pretty cool, you know whatnot. So yeah, let's focus now we focus we focus all right so that is the makeup products I've been loving so far you know there's a lot there's some stuff I need to try but yes um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments about anything that I've said talked about in this video please leave them down below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and with that said I'm gonna get out of here I hope you guys have have a great weekend and I will see you all next time. Bye.